Hello my babies, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host Luca and in today's video we're going to be discussing the Netflix MCU shows that are coming over to Disney+. Plus. Let's get straight into the video. As of March 16th my babies, Marvel has full control over the Netflix MCU shows and they're going to be coming over to Disney+. Plus. And I for one cannot wait for all these shows to be under the same roof just because of ease of use and convenience in all honesty i hated the hindrance of swapping between netflix and disney plus so the rumors at the minute are that charlie cox and christine ritter are supposedly getting their jobs back with reboot slash revivals of their netflix disney plus shows and i for one wish all of these shows would get revivals slash reboots because i kind of feel like they all could have had the potential to just be so much greater than they currently are i mean most of these shows other than daredevil only had two seasons i feel like all of these shows are really good and it's not fair that they got axed so early in my opinion i feel like jessica jones could easily slot back into the current mcu lineup just because she's a private investigator who works with lawyers mostly and we've got a lawyer coming into the mcu with jessica waters she hulk and that's going to be debuting on disney plus so we could always have kristen ritter make an appearance there maybe even with the likes of nelson and murdoch we don't know but how cool would it be to have jessica jones jessica waters and foggy nelson matt murdoch maybe even karen page there as well it would just be a lovely addition i think and kind of easy to slot them all together charlie cox has actually hinted that the matt murdoch that we saw in spider-man no way home was indeed a variant and it's not the daredevil or matt murdoch that we saw in the netflix shows and vincent d'onofrio is saying that he is playing the same guy so i just imagine that it's going to be either misunderstanding or just simple explanation uh, explanation that these are just variants of all these characters and the Netflix shows are just gonna be used as their backstory. So if you wanna know what their backstories are, go watch the Netflix shows that are now on Disney Plus. And I reckon when we see them now, it will be new and improved, hopefully, and not completely rewritten as if we didn't know these characters at all. Because when we saw Wilson Fisk, it was identical essentially. It was just his, business was different and i feel like that could easily be explained by the snap and how over those five years everyone's life kind of went to shit i feel like it could easily be explained but at the same time we never know how marvel's going to explain things so we have to kind of keep our eyes peeled and our ears open i'm really holding out hope for luke cage to get a soft reboot slash revival on disney plus if the rumors are true that Kristen Ritter and Charlie Cox are getting one because personally he was my favorite defender. I loved Luke Cage and Mike Coulter was an amazing actor and I would say perfectly cast. And for somebody who'd never actually heard of Luke Cage before, having Mike Coulter be my first depiction the same way that I didn't know who Iron Man was before we had Robert Downey Jr. I feel like he embodied that role so well and I don't want anybody else as Luke Cage and I can't imagine anybody else as Luke Cage. I feel like that show was so great and it just got its legs cut out from underneath it. Sadly, I cannot give the same grace to Iron Fist that I gave to Luke Cage and the other characters. I just didn't connect with him as much if i'm honest and i feel like everybody deserves a second chance so i'd like to see finn jones return to the mcu and i know that the actress who played colleen wing turned down a role in shang chi because she was hoping she could reprise her role as colleen wing which i find lovely and amazing if i'm honest i feel like the story could easily be told with the end of iron fist season two you had Danny Rand and you had Colleen Wing going around the world and they were battling people and you could have Danny and Colleen end up crossing paths with Shang-Chi and Katie because they're both martial artists, martial artists sorry, and mystic uh, users. So it's one of those things where you have the Iron Fist and then you could have the Ten Rings at the same time. I thought that'd be a pretty cool crossover in my opinion. If we can't have the defenders that we know and love I just kind of hope that we get 
as close a variance as possible. Just because these actors did such great jobs. Other than the Defenders show, like the official crossover show, I think these shows were good. I've, I'm sorry, but the Defenders show itself fucking sucked. And I, I don't think I'll ever be able to get over how bad it is. I'd say it's on the level of Inhumans. If you haven't seen that, it's on Disney+. Plus. It's a letdown. <laughs> Let's just say that. I think that John Bernthal was born to play the Punisher, and I don't want to see anybody else. But I don't think that Disney are ready to put the Punisher back in circulation yet. I feel like with the recent news from the Moon Knight director that Moon Knight isn't attached to the MCU the same way that the current Disney Plus Marvel shows are and it's in its own separate reality and they're trying to treat it the same way that Tony Stark's Iron Man story was treated as if it's the seed of something new. So unless they want to put all the darker and gritty characters in this separate reality that could possibly exist thanks to Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, then I don't really think that we are going to see John Bernthal on our screens anytime soon, which is a shame. Guys, if you have seen any of these shows, comment down below which one was your favourite or which Defender was your favourite. I've been your host Luca, I hope you've enjoyed the video, please like, comment and subscribe, I'll see you in the next one, peace.